Good evening, my name is Tom, and today's video is about um, Donald Trump and uh, posting Bond. Now, there's going to be some somewhat uh, biased coverage on both sides on this. Um, what's going on is Trump could not find a lending agency a financial service willing to front him money uh, to post bond while he goes through the appeals process on his recent loss in New York for defrauding uh, financial institutions and cheating on his taxes basically. Um, now it stands to reason that Trump just can't magically put down 450 million dollars of his own money because it's tied up in business expenses it takes a little bit of time to uh, take your tangible assets and make them liquid assets basically so that's what the financial institutions are for they loan you money now a narrative had been going around for months and months now um, saying this is absurd because there were no victims, the banks didn't care, everybody does it, etc. Um, I think this is how the banks are telling you, yes, they really do care when you cheat them and you get rates, uh, interest rates that you're not entitled to because you don't have the assets you claimed you did and you're a greater financial risk than uh, you made yourself out to be because they're not going to lend him the money they're not going to post his bond even though they could now potentially recover uh, the lost interest payments uh, if they did so now and they've decided he's not worth lending money to it's a losing proposition for them. Either they don't think they'll get their money back, which is silly because when his assets are liquidated, you know, they get second pick. Tax man gets the first pick. Um, they might just say, to hell with it. Let them default and move on. Or if they're feeling extremely petty when, you know, his assets get liquidated for him, they may start putting bids on his seized properties if they were being extremely petty. I don't think they're necessarily going to do that, but um, it is worth noting that, yeah, uh, the financial institutions, this is how they tell you, uh, yeah, there is a victim here. It's them, and they don't like it. I may not like giant corporate executives running banks, I may not care for the tax man much either. But yeah, he did steal. He did it through fraud. And the victims are now telling you, yes, we do care. Those people on television and on the internet saying there were no victims can suck it. Because the people who were the victims, they're standing up for themselves. They just happen to have, uh, they happen to be on the right side of the law this time, and, uh, they have more power than Trump does currently. So there you go.